Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars on High. Thank you for stopping by. We are back with another book review, this time on Star Wars Jedi Battle Scars by Sam Maggs. Battle Scars is the tie-in novel between Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor and updates us on the crew of the Mantis and how they've managed after the events of Fallen Order. While nothing over the top happens in this book, I still think it's an important tie-in to some burning questions. While nothing over the top happens in this book, I still think it's an important tie-in and will answer some burning questions that people may have after playing Jedi Survivor when it comes out next month. Like all Star Wars tie-in novels, this is not required reading for Jedi Survivor, but there are plenty of small details you will catch in the game if you read the story. You won't miss out on anything if you don't read it, but it will definitely enhance your playing experience. The story plagues taste on what seems like a regular mission for the Mantis crew when they come across a deserting stormtrooper who claims she wants out of the Empire, and has a lead on a tool that could cause chaos if it falls into the hands of the Empire. Cal isn't so certain though. This is too much of a risk, especially when it's unknown as to what this trooper's true intentions are. It gets much more complicated however when the quest for this tool brings them into the path of one of the Empire's most dangerous servants, the Fifth Brother, who is hellbent on destroying Cal and Seer. I know that feels like a small summary, but the book itself isn't that long to begin with, and it flies by pretty quick. But there's a lot of themes and issues that go into this story that really helps with character growth. Mainly with Cal and Seer. Cal and Marin seem to be kicking things off really well after Fallen Order, and I know many people, myself included, want them to end up together. But this new stormtrooper known as Fret seems to also have an infatuation with Marin, and they hook up in the story. Sam Maggs has described it as a type of summer love, and that's exactly what this feels like. A quick fling that happens and then they go their separate ways. But it causes a lot of problems for Cal. The dark side slowly creeps up on him because of this, and at times he is overcome with jealousy causing him to make rash decisions and actively choosing not to believe a word that Fret says. But is it because she's a stormtrooper or because she's been hanging out with Marin so much? It's an important lesson for Cal to learn and overcome as he's still very much a Padawan, and I doubt he's had time to mature his emotions to the point where he could think rationally through this type of situation. Seer is in the same boat when it comes to the dark side as she gives into her emotions and rage a lot in this story, using it as a way to fight against the fifth brother, but she keeps clinging to the past, hoping to turn the fifth brother back to the light in a way that would make up for her failure with her last apprentice, Trilla. But Seer projecting her failures causes more problems and doesn't make the fight any easier, and as a result, Grease loses his arm. Seer is so stuck in the past it blinds her and now has to deal with the guilt of injuring Grease in what I would call a complete freak accident. It may not seem like much, but the character development that happens in the 304 pages of Battle Scars will definitely add to the story that we get in Jedi Survivor. I'm definitely glad that I read this book because it kind of reminds me of Splinter of the Mind's Eye, a shorter story with our heroes that takes an interesting turn and is a middle point between two larger parts of the story. Now I know Splinter of the Mind's Eye is an odd book, but I personally love it, so I say this as a compliment. In my mind's eye, Sam Maggs managed to capture the excitement and adventure that reminds me of the very first expanded Star Wars story, and that to me is so cool. Overall, while Jedi Battle Scars may not be required reading, you'll definitely want to check it out to get the most out of your Jedi Survivor playthrough. But let me know your thoughts on the book down in the comments. Will you be picking up a copy, or will you be diving right into Jedi Survivor? Leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you to everyone who stuck around to this point in the video, and we hope to see you again very soon.